Some SV06 owners are having trouble with the built-in x-axis alignment function of their printers. This video is going to show how to use the printer's inductive bed leveling sensor to accomplish that instead. Once you practice it a bit, it can be quite fast with a bit of g-code I've written to assist in the process, and I find it less fiddly than using two supports to level the guide rods. First, download the g-code file from the link in the description and put it onto a micro SD card and use the print from media option on it like any other print. The G-code will heat the bed to 60 degrees Celsius, home the printer, move the print head to the left side, and disable the stepper motors. Manually turn the left lead screw counterclockwise until the LED on the bed leveling sensor goes off. This means the sensor has detected the bed. Now turn the left lead screw back clockwise till the LED just barely turns back on. It's the transition from off to on that is the thing being aligned on. So if you go too far, just turn the screw counterclockwise again until the LED is off and try again. You'll quickly get a feel for the process. With the left side done, press the printer's click wheel to unpause the G-code and it will move the print head to the right. Note that because the leveling sensor's X offset, this won't be at the far right of the bed in order to mirror its location when you did the left side. Repeat the process you did before, but now on the right side. Turn the right lead screw counterclockwise until the LED goes off, then back clockwise again until it just barely comes on. Because moving one side affects the other, it's necessary to repeat this process several times. I have added five cycles to the G-code, though usually it shouldn't take that many. The amount you should need to adjust the lead screws will lessen each time, but because of hysteresis, or slop, in the sensor, you'll always need to adjust it a small amount to find that off to on transition. If you're still unclear on exactly how to proceed, I'll walk through the other four repetitions. No need to watch to the end once you feel you've got it. The core idea is to use the sensor LEDs transition from off to on to adjust each side. Press the printer's click wheel to unpause and the carriage again returns to the left. Note that the sensor's LED is already off this time. That's okay as it's the transition from off to on that we are aligning on. So to turn the left lead screw clockwise slowly until the LED just comes on, then press the click wheel again. With the printer back on the right side, we see that the LED is on. So we need to turn the right lead screw counterclockwise to get it to turn off, then back clockwise until it just turns on as before. Again, hit the click wheel when done. This time, the sensor's LED is already off, so turn the left lead screw until it just comes on. Then unpause the G-code to return to the right again. Again, the lead screw needs to be turned counterclockwise to turn the sensor LED off, then back clockwise again until it just barely comes on. Now hit the click wheel. Same process again. Counterclockwise until the LED goes off, clockwise until it just comes on. The LED is already off this time, so turn the lead screw clockwise until it just comes on. Last cycle, turn the left lead screw counterclockwise until the LED goes off, then back again clockwise until it comes on. One final adjustment, turning the right lead screw until the LED goes off, then back again until it comes on. Your x-axis should be very well aligned at this point, but if yours was very far off at the beginning, and you found you needed to move each side a lot by the end of the fifth cycle, you can run the whole G-code file again and it will reduce error further.